The creation of management rules is simplified through the use of policy functions that support the standard rule structure. Policy functions can be called from any rule, whether run interactively or deferred for later execution, or called from a policy enforcement point. In previous rule examples, we saw two policy functions, ext, find the extension of a file, contains, determine if a string is contained in a list. The policy functions are loaded into the rule base to make them available to all users. The policy functions we are using are contained in the file dfc-functions.re. A description of these policy functions is available in Chapter 1 of the Policy Examples Workbook. The data grid administrator manages the rule base used by the IROD's data grid. A configuration file located at Etsy IROD server config.json determines which rule sets will be loaded into the rule base when the system is started. The server config.json file contains a list of rule bases that will be used by the rule engine. The default rule base set is the core.re file. To modify the selection of rules, the server config.json file is given a list of rule bases. File name colon core comma dfc dash functions. This example shows the use of both the core.re rule base and the DFC functions rule base, the order in which they are listed is important. Rules from the core.re file will be searched first, then rules from the DFC functions.re file. A list of the policy functions are shown here that are available in the file DFC functions.re. The list contains the arguments used by each policy function, along with a brief description of the task that is performed. Policy functions are available to manipulate metadata, check input parameters, create collection lists, logs, files, and replicas. Each of these policy functions addresses a specific issue that arose in writing the 175 policies that are tabulated in the policy templates workbook. A list of the policy functions are shown here that are available in the file dfcfunctions.re. The list contains the arguments used by each policy function, along with a brief description of the task that is performed. Policy functions are available to manipulate metadata, check input parameters, and create collections, lists, log files, and replicas. The add avu metadata policy function adds avu metadata to a file, while add avu metadata to call adds avu metadata to a collection. The add to list policy function adds usage and name information to lists in a sorted order. This is used to create top 10 lists. The check call input policy function checks whether the input variable is a collection. Check file input checks whether the input variable is a file. Checks meta exists call checks whether metadata exists in a collection. Check path input checks whether a valid path name exists. The check resource input policy function checks whether the input variable is a storage resource in the specified zone. The check user input policy function checks whether the input variable is a user in the specified zone. And the check zone input checks whether the designated zone is accessible through a federation. We've already seen the contains policy function, which returns true if a list contains the element star elem. The create collections policy function creates a sub collection for each entry in the list star CS under the collection star call. The create list policy function creates a list of length star num with a default value contained in star val. Create log file creates a log collection and a log file. Create replicas creates in replicas on a list of resources, and delete AVU metadata deletes metadata attribute and value from a file. We've already seen ext policy function. The find zone host name returns the name and port of a federated zone for issuing remote commands. Get collection returns a list of collections by deleting the file name from the file paths. Get files returns a list of files by stripping star local root 
from a list of star local paths. Get num size call counts the number of files and total size in a collection. Get resource collection creates a list of storage resources used by files in a collection. Is call checks if a collection exists and creates it if necessary. Is data checks whether a file already exists. Mod AVU metadata modifies an existing AVU attribute on a data file. Select resource update selects a resource to use from a list of storage resource. Send access generates an access event and sends it using the advanced message queue protocol. Send linking event generates a JSON document describing a link between the objects. And send related event creates a JSON document describing a related event between objects. Update call metadata updates a metadata attribute on a collection. Upload files, moves, files, and star local paths to the collection star call. And verify replica checksum verifies a checksum on the replicas for a file. Examples of the use of each policy function can be found in the policy examples workbook. Take seven minutes to complete exercise 49. Write a rule for using a policy function to initialize a list. Use the policy function create list, star list a, star num, star val. This creates a list of links star num with default value star val. Star list a is the list that is being created. Star num is the number of default values to put in the list. Star val is the default value for each list item. Please load your rule file into the lifetime library in the subcollection class INLS 624 by the end of today's class. Please turn in homework assignment number seven by noon on Monday of the next week. Create a rule that concatenates information into a manifest that is stored in the data grid for every file that is loaded. The rule will need to use microservices that include MSI data object open, MSI data object LC, and write line. Explain what each microservice used in the rule is doing. An example rule for the creation of a manifest file is in Chapter 7.7 .7 of the Policy Examples Workbook.